So my lab works on blood cancers, uh, particularly myeloid malignancies, and we use a combination of uh, zebrafish modelling and drug screens uh, alongside using primary patient material to try and study better ways to understand both the development of myeloid leukaemias and different ways that we could uh, treat them in the future. Getting the kind of throughput that we'd really like has been a bit of a challenge and although there are many different platforms that, that one can use, they tend to have kind of bespoke solutions for the way in which you analyse the data and that means that developing each new screen is both costly and it takes a long time to get something that, that really works for your, for your purpose. The main challenges in the manual method are, uh, is really just the time consuming. It's not particularly difficult to do but it involves spending hours and hours sat at microscope and the other problem with that is you really can't get big numbers and when you want to do something like a drug screen the power really comes from being able to do large numbers. We've been looking for a solution probably for the last five ten years or so um, and every few years we kind of revisit this this is a kind of key goal is to like how can we make this more efficient how can we make it time efficient because imaging and manually counting cells is really the only way to quantify your data properly but if that could be automated, first of all, you take away all the time that you do that for, but you also um, open up a like, whole host of other opportunities to, to use this sort of platform for other sorts of experiments. So when I started this drug screen and we started looking at different options, it took us a while to settle on a, on a way of doing it. We knew we needed to automate it. It wasn't going to be possible to screen thousands of compounds manually. And so it was really when we started looking at different methods and it became clear how easy to use the system is um, and how flexible it was. And also we were quite attracted by the fact that it can do other things as well, that it wasn't just a bespoke solution for this screen, that we could branch out, change it if we needed to. The thing that's really been helpful for this system is we don't just use it for drug screening, we use it for all manner of indications and, and providing you know, we're looking at the right time point because there's no ultimate flexibility, but within the time frame that we're interested in, if we have a transgenic or even an in situ that we want to image and look at that in, in detail and high content, we'll use the Athena instead of doing it, it manually. And the other thing that's nice about the system is it's really flexible, so you, you can really optimise it for a different assay relatively quickly. So I would say that overall, it allows us to power our experiments much better because we can use, instead of using 20 embryos, we can use 200 and it doesn't take any longer. In fact, it takes considerably less time than it would have done. So overall, it gives you know, a lot more flexibility into the experiments that we can plan, the experiments that we can do, um, and the sort of power that we get of the data that comes out of the system. So when I need some support with the software, I just reach out to the team at IDEA um, and they've been really helpful. It's been a very collaborative partnership. Um, I provide them with images, they provide us with support, it's worked very well.